Interestingly, as Gil Clancy pointed out, Hutchie actually taller than Thomas. It's been a, a gift that he has had, and he has used that gift. Eva Shane of Portland, New Jersey. Dickie Cole of Dallas are the judges. Already from Fred Hutchings, Sam, and that's the jab. And that's jab. The prognosis uh, was that if uh, Hearns was going to stop. Did a good job of escaping there, Ray. Hutchings should hold on, and Ray Leonard suggested he should have done immediately, but he did escape. For Hearns, there's a solid left hook landed by the champion. Wide open for a first round with the champion having staggered the champion. Hutchins does not have the experience. He's not been in the caliber fight. His right hand is pounding away. And with the mouthpiece out, his, his left is cut now, Tim. He's in Ben Bell should ring. And there it does. Bell. Stunning combination. Big right hand. The second knockdown there, I believe. This young man here has been through a difficult first round. The air is funny. No there, there he is leading again. As soon as the fight starts, he forgot everything he worked on in the gym. Well, he's thrown by Thomas Harris. Which uh, we had questions as far as overconfidence was concerned. By the champion Hearn. Now Hutchins is leading from the nose. They have a little respect for him. But right now, it's all Tommy's own way. Back. Under a minute to go in round two. His game though, Tim, he's winging back, missing, but he's winging back. So we haven't seen anything of what he can really do. Round number two. Round number three, the champion, Thomas Hearns, having Fred Hutchings, the challenger, and all to get back. Once you get a bad start like that. Hutchings, and uh, he's not okay. he's stable. It's basically a counter-punching fight plan. Tim, he has a great trend. Fred Hutchings, 26. He's not reaching as much. He thinks he has to initiate the action all the time, and he doesn't. Yeah, how right hand by Tom would be so beautiful to him because Freddie Hutchins. Hutchins reaches in with that left jab. He steps the handlers up on the corner. Looked like he was trying to stop the fight. Turns with a reach advantage. Hutchings with a one-inch height advantage. Into the ring from the Hutchings corner. Trying to get the referee to stop the fight. Himself into the bout. He was knocked down twice in the first round. He was in against an opponent who was really much better than he appeared in this fight. Coming out as strongly as he did in round number one. Just never gave Fred Hutchins.